Hey swimmers, welcome to the latest version of our YMCA of Marquette County swimming drills. And some of the drills we're going to go over today are the ones we're using to teach butterfly and breaststroke to our swimmers. These are the short axis strokes. And one of the main things we do is we teach a little bit of sculling. And we're going to show you some front sculling right now. And the important thing is that the hands are extended in front of the swimmer's body. And they use a side-to-side -side motion, almost like a figure-eight shaped motion, to travel down the pool. This is Brad Cowan demonstrating. And you notice that he uses a light kick just to keep his body balanced. But it is the way he catches the water and sculls with his hands and forearms that moves him down to the pool. And this is called the front skull, and we do it with our face in the water. And he adds a little bit of body dolphin motion. We also do mid-sculling, where we keep our elbows forward, even with our shoulders. Our elbows are in front of our lungs, and our fingertips are pointed more towards the bottom of the pool in the mid-skull. And this is obviously the sweeping in portion of your butterfly or your breaststroke. This is Wes Veer demonstrating the mid-skull, and it's another effective tool. And notice that his elbows are not back behind his lungs. We also regularly use body dolphin. Often we're using body dolphin with fins in practice. And the two things that are very important is that our head does not dive down under the water, but goes slightly below the surface. And our hips come up above the water with each pulse. This is Annie Bangry demonstrating the hand lead body dolphin, hands, shoulder widths apart. And you notice that she keeps her hips coming to the surface with each pulse and her head goes slightly below the water and slightly above. And when she comes up to breathe, she doesn't change her rhythm. We like to do that same drill, sliding our hands to the corners when we load. Load means pressing your lungs down in the water and letting the water press against them where you bob back up. This is sliding to the corners when doing body dolphin. West Veer is demonstrating again, hips coming to the surface with each pulse head going slightly below and slightly above, and the hands are going out to the Y shape as he presses the lungs into the water. And then they bob back up, just like a beach ball would when you push it in the water. We like to use this drill called Pablo drill, named after the famous butterfly Pablo Morales, a gold medal winner at the Olympics. And it's working on the underwater pull portion without having to worry about getting your hands back over the surface. Watch how Brad Cowan sneaks his hands to the front, slides out to the Y, and then anchors against the water and pulls his hands back. And the timing of the breathing is very important on this. He comes up to breathe as his hands are anchoring, and his face is back in the water. Now we do a lot of dolphin kicking on our back just to um, improve the strength of our core and lower back. This is streamlined dolphin kicking on your back, as demonstrated by Andy Bangry. And you'll notice that her... She's using her hips and her upper body and her lower back and just bubbling up water at the surface. Our swimmers do this every day in practice. We also like to do something we call roller coaster dolphin. And it just engages the abs a little bit more. This is instead of having your hands in a streamline, you have them about shoulder width apart. And you'll notice that there's a little, it allows a little more body movement through the core when you're doing the roller coaster dolphin kicking. I'd like to thank our demonstrators for doing their weekly demonstrations of drills. And we're doing a lot more of these drills now as we're trying to introduce breaststroke and butterfly to our newer swimmers. So please take a few moments, um, check out these drills, and come to the pool ready to do them.